on refurbishing my trailer, I put uh, all new plywood on it, I drilled them, and I used the carriage bolts. The reason I use carriage bolts, and I use the carriage bolts on the inside facing out, even though you might get caught on the, the threads a little bit, I carry bags of feed and different and uh, fertilizer and uh, bags of soil and things. And if you've got the bolts going in, you got a chance of tearing the bags. This way you've got the carriage bolts on the inside. As you see, the carriage bolts are probably still colored yellow. That's because the wagon was painted yellow the last time and I re reused the same bolts. So this refurbish didn't cost me a dime because I already had the... I always hang on to the pieces of plywood because you never know what you're going to need. Small pieces or short pieces of plywood. This time I used it for the wagon. Next time I might use it for a bird feeder or, or something for the barn. But I reused the carriage bolts. The paint I had uh, half a quart of exterior green paint in the garage so I reused that. So like I said it didn't cost me a dime and I reused the bolts. These bolts have been in this wagon for 15 years, another 15 years. I'll never have to do them again. Because by that time I'll be so old I won't be able to get out and about. Other than maybe just walk across the lawn. So I just want to give you an idea of it. Save your, save your little things, your nuts and bolts. Um, little pieces of plywood. I'm not saying hang on to everything. But you never know when you're going to need something. And on this backyard farm, we hang on to little things like that because there's another project along the line that may need a short two before or a piece of small piece of plywood or a couple of screws or nuts or bolts. Always hang on to that stuff. Nuts and bolts I put into a coffee can. When I need them, I dump them out in a tray and I pick out what I need and put everything back in the, the bucket. So now I'm set for another 20 years. I can. Uh, haul feed, hold gravel. I can haul anything I want in it. Now. Throw grass grass clippings in it and haul it to the birds. So I hope this is a you enjoyed me telling you how I did this and how it didn't cost me anything other than the labor. And I did it on a rainy day when I can't do anything else. So I, everything's working out fine. One little project at a time. I've been meaning to get to this, but when I was at work, you don't have the time to do this stuff after work because you're so tired from, well, I don't have to tell you. You're a working, working people too. You know, by the time you're, the end of your day comes, you haven't got time to or want to remodel something or refurbish something. So with me being retired, now I've got the time to do this stuff. And so far it's working out for Ruthie and myself, and uh, if you get a little bit of enjoyment out of watching me do some of this stuff, well, well and good. Um, like I said, we're not we're not preppers, we're not homesteaders, we're backyard farmers. Working people can be backyard farmers too. All you have to do is plant a couple of fruit trees. Fruit trees and things like that only need a couple of days of work a year and bushes only need a day of trimming out the old stuff and letting the new growth grow. So you too can do this stuff. All it takes is a little bit of time and now I've got the time to do it and hopefully you'll have time to do some of your projects too. This is Clay from Popo's Backyard Farm. Join us again. Bye bye.